Cubs, welcome to my channel. For this video, I joined a large collaboration on Instagram. The theme? Pokemon! I decided to go with my favorite starter, Piplup. This is the concept art I came up with. I know, I know, I'm not the best artist. I decided to use Spectra as a base. I got mine from eBay, and she was missing a hand, and her existing hand had molding on it. So I replaced her hands with other doll parts and painted them and her clear wrists and feet white. As usual, I'm not keeping her hair, so it's time for a haircut. I'm not bothering to remove the hair stubble because I'm going to be making a doll wig. Take pure acetone to remove all of her factory paint from her face. To make a doll wig, I follow Mozeki Toe's tutorials on how to make a wig cap and wefts from acrylic yarn. This was my first time at doing this, and I'm so happy it turned out okay. I was nervous I'd mess it up. Time to give her a face. I start with the pastels. I really need to get better pastels. These ones hardly show up. I progress and contour her cheeks with blue. That's a nice thing about Spectre's mold. Cheekbones for days. I scratch off a bit of the pastel to create powder for her lips. I wanted to do the bottom lip yellow and the top lip pink. I started drawing in her eyes with a light blue pencil. I color in the base color of her iris with the same blue, as well as sketching in her eyelids. For her eyebrows, I thought I had to attempt at doing the cute little blob eyebrows. Well, she ended up looking slightly worried. Eyebrows are my nemesis. I shade in the details of her irises. Then I draw her pupils. Using black, I draw her eyeliner. I take pink and sketch in her waterline. I decide to add more detail to her eyebrows, and using the same dark blue I give her eyelashes. Since the pastels didn't do much, I color in her lips with pencils. Pink on top, yellow on the bottom. I take a toothpick and add the tiny eye shines. With that last touch, her face is done. I found this really cute fabric that had bubbles all over it, perfect for a water type. The pattern I ripped off is an existing Monster High dress. I 
I sewed a ribbon trim on it and now it's time for the pockets. Once the pockets are on, close the back of the dress leaving enough room for the doll's butt. For her shoes, I followed Walker Colors tutorial which consists of making a paper mache cast, then gluing fabric over the cast and making heels and soles. I clearly need more practice. I wanted them to look like rain boots. With her shoes done, the doll is complete. I'm really happy with how she turned out. Do you think she looks like Piplup? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more doll customs.